Today, we're decorating for fall. Let's get started. So just to set it up for you today, we're gonna to be decorating the mantle. We're gonna be decorating the mirror, the hearth. We're also gonna do something a little different with my ladder today. I took my lights off of it and I'll be doing something different with that. I also painted my trim work and I can't tell you how much easier it was to decorate. I was not distracted by my woodwork. So I dragged my feet about it, but I'm so glad that I finally did that. So this is my base piece or my inspiration piece today. This is a garland I purchased clearance last year and I've decided to use it as my base today. Now we're going for a gathered look. We're going for traditional colors for fall and yet I'm going to be tying it in with some of the blues that are in my room. So you'll see how that looks as we progress but I decided to swap out my iron my black iron um, candle holders and I decided to go with the brass I felt like that was a better look for fall and I just wanted to switch it up it's been a while so I thought I would put the brass back in here the next thing that I'm doing is I'm going to put my little riser back here I had this up for the uh, summertime and I like it it adds some height and it helps with displaying the pieces that I have. Next, we're gonna take these picks. And so there's like a balance here. I'm doing some symmetry, and then I'm doing some kind of placing here and there. The picks I'm definitely being symmetrical with, so I'm placing them in exactly the same spot on either side of the mantle. And then to that, I'm gonna add my candles. Now my larger one there has fallen a couple of times. It's a little worse for the wear, but it still works. And um, I love my flameless candles. They come on a timer and I'm so, happy to have them. I think they just add a nice warmth look there. So if you have seen the Bullseyes Playground or Target Dollar Spot lately, you know they have these really awesome pumpkins and they're very inexpensive and I would encourage you to go look for them uh, quickly because they may be gone quickly if you're interested in them because they're only um, like, I don't know, a dollar. The little one was a dollar and then they're like, I don't know, like $3 I think I paid for the other ones. I'm also using these picks from Hobby Lobby. And these I'm going to put in just a little bit closer. And again, I'm being symmetrical here. So that gives it a nice balance. One of the things that I purchased that I really like are these Dollar Tree pumpkins with the clips. I'm loving these in this fabric style and the clips are very convenient to be able to just add them onto your picks or your garland wherever you would like. I'm really loving those. So this does look nice just the way it is but we are going for more is more this year and so I'm adding a couple pieces to the end. I haven't used that pumpkin on the end there in a couple years, so I was glad to be able to use it. And then to that, I'm just gonna add these yellow picks on the end. Now this, is, this color is gonna tie in the mirror with the mantle with the hearth, and you're gonna see that as we go along. Next, I'm just gonna place some pine cones in here in various positions. And it just kind of gives it, again, that gathered look that I am going for here. And to just kind of fill in those, what you'd call those open spots and put the pine cones in there. Gives it a nice touch. <laughs> Thank you. 
So I had the idea to add my table runner to the bottom here. I felt like it just softens this spot up a little bit. And since we don't use the fireplace anyway, it's not really a danger to do that. And to that, I'm going to add a dough bowl. And we're going to go ahead and decorate this dough bowl with pieces I already have on hand. I think that little pumpkin is new. I got that at Home Goods, but everything else I have already had on hand. Again, using those yellow flowers in the back to tie into the mirror and the mantle. What if the world had more of your smile? What if the wind could spread your love? What if your sweetness could reach everyone? There'd be no wars mm. Maybe the birds will sing about your heart Maybe the trees will whisper the word Maybe the sun will spread your joy to the ones who lost their hope So I really like to use lighting, especially in the fall when it gets dark earlier. It just gives a nice, cozy um, ambiance, I guess is the word you would use, in your room. Now, I don't have a working fireplace, so I thought it might be fun to string these along the back and kind of um, give it some lighting back here. And I am having a little trouble getting those spread out, but the same thing with the basket you just saw. I wanted to put the twinkle lights in there too. I thought that would be a nice touch. Also, you saw me add that blueberry pick in there. That's incorporating some of the blue in that I've been trying to do. And you will also see it on my tiered tray in a few minutes. I'm just pulling some of those lights through onto the dough bowl. I thought that would be a good idea. And we'll see how that looks. Now I'm adding my tiered tray. I put a tiered tray on my hearth every season. I do change them up. This one has DIYs on it, I did. I can link those for you below and in the cards above if you're interested in that. So after playing with the lights a little bit, I did get them spread out a little bit better. So I did wanna give you that shot there and show you how it looks a little bit better than it did. So next we're moving on to the mirror and I was tempted to get a new wreath, but I decided no, I'm gonna improvise with what I have. I took a pitberry garland that I have and I tied it with some jute and I made it into a wreath and I used some of the yellow pieces of florals that again, tie into the mantle and tie into the hearth. And then I just put a little blue bow on it that I had from the springtime and I think that pulls in the blue from the room also while still making it a fall look. Okay, we're gonna use the blanket ladder for what a blanket ladder is used for. We're gonna put a blanket on it. If you're enjoying this video, I would sure love it if you would give it a thumbs up. I'd also love it if you enjoy these kind of videos. I do decorating, DIY, and shopping videos. Love it if you would subscribe to my channel. Last week I did a trial decorate. I snapped a picture and put it up on my Instagram stories. I asked a poll, should I add a banner, yes or no? I got 100% yes, add a banner. So I'd like to encourage you that if you would like to follow me on Instagram, um, my handle is at Bluebird Home and DIY. I would love to have you over there. I do things a little different over there sometimes and you might enjoy seeing what I do. I do also wanna point out that the candlestick holders that are brass with the candles in them, I will not be lighting those today because they are very close to the wall and even though I know it would just look really pretty with everything, I'm just not going to do that for safety reasons.
little vignette in front of the couch. And I'm using this tray here. This is a really nice tray. I got this for $16 at Home Goods. Definitely check Home Goods for inexpensive things because I feel like this would be a lot more money if I'd gotten it somewhere else. To that, I'm adding this vase that I purchased at Kirkland's. This is a new purchase this year. And then I'm also adding this demijohn jar, vase, whatever you want to call it. I took it out of the basket that it was in. It had a basket with handles. And then to that, I'm adding this candle. This candle smells so good. If you're interested in that, I do have a haul video. I can link that also for you. I explain how that smells. It just smells wonderful. Next, we're going to decorate my table here. I'm adding this free printable that I made myself on Canva. I also have this one for you, and I also have this one for you if you're interested in those. They will be linked below. I have them on my Pinterest. So this is just a simple little vignette for my table. I do have a lamp here. It doesn't really match right now. I'm still kind of on the hunt for a new one. But here is this nice little vignette. It probably could use something else here. I'm not sure, but I'm liking it as it is right now. So here's a nice view of the whole room. Again, the right lamp on that table would look just right. I threw, took my sweater off because I was really hot. It's actually too warm to have a sweater on. That's my blue painting there. I am a blue girl. I do love blues and I have a lot of blue and gray in this room. That's why I said I wanted to incorporate some of it. I do think you can put blue and orange together. This is my uh, Ottoman vignette that we did, and I did not want any tall flowers in it because we do watch television. We are going to replace those blinds that you're going to see in a minute. We're going to get some light colored ones. And then there is the overview of the fireplace. much for watching this video today. As always, I appreciate it. If you liked this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you'd like to see more, and I will see you in the next video.